Now, two giants of the mining world have merged to form a company worth nearly £60 billion. The marriage of Glencore and Extrata will create the world's biggest exporter of coal for power plants and the largest producer of zinc. But not everyone's happy at the union. Some big Extrata shareholders say the deal actually undervalues their firm. And they're also worried about who will be in charge, the multimillionaire or the billionaire. Our business correspondent Sarah Smith reports. Glencore is already a very big company, the largest commodities trader in the world, and it just got a whole lot bigger today. Merging with the mining company Extrata to form a firm worth nearly £60 billion is one of the biggest deals the city's seen for a very long time. This new combined company now has a massive grip on global commodities. They are, for instance, the world's largest producers of thermal coal. But that's not all. They reach into every room in your house. They also control an awful lot of the world's gold, whilst at the same time being the fourth largest producers of silver on the planet. Glencore Extrata are now the world's number one producers of zinc. And even if you don't have zinc worktops at home, it's in most of the batteries that you use, as well as having many important industrial uses. Copper is a big one for them too. Highly sought after metal these days. This company is now the world's third biggest player in copper and expect to be the very largest in just four years time. And they're in the food that we eat as well. They produce a quarter of the world's rapeseed oil and they control over a tenth of the world's wheat supply. And they're also huge in lead, nickel and cobalt. This creates a big new beast in the commodities market that combines mining with marketing. Other companies will have to consolidate, buy each other up or face being bought up by this huge new company. Rising demand for commodities from emerging economies like China and India have seen prices soar, making both Glencore and Extrata very handsome profits. Global copper prices are now so high, valuable works of art like this Barbara Hepworth sculpture are stolen just for the resale value of the metal. Protesters have attacked Extrata in the past over the huge salaries they pay their top bosses. And today, some of their shareholders are also pretty angry, not convinced they're getting the best deal possible. While the management will do very nicely, thank you. Mick Davis, the Extrata boss, is on nearly £16 million a year and now seems likely to get a pay rise. While Ivan Glazenberg of Glencore only makes one and a half million pounds a year, but is worth about five billion in Glencore stock, but they can't both now be in charge. Who is actually going to be um, controlling the board? And they've agreed a sort of fudge where the chief executive of Extrata continues as the chief executive, and the chief executive of Glencore, um, who's also the largest shareholder, Ivan Glazenberg, he becomes the deputy chief executive and president, and this is a bit of a messy situation. Messy, maybe, but highly lucrative for sure. The commodities business really is a gold mine these days.